Hi and welcome back. In this session, we'll be talking about remote execution and scheduling, results and reporting in Scandio. So in our previous session, we created the test suites which we have here. So in order for me to go about my remote execution in just this few simple steps, I would click on this ellipsis and I have the option of running this locally or remotely. But first, I would just go ahead and click on edit. And because we have a uh, execution type as sequential, which basically takes more time, we're going to set this as parallel. So setting my test in parallel is going to execute my test in a shorter time. So once I update this, and I want to execute this remotely, so I would click on run remotely and run. So another tip to have at the back of your mind also is this toggle button here for our screenshots. So in order to trim down our execution time the more, we can go ahead and off this. So if we toggle this off, then we are going to have more lesser time when we're executing our test. But for now, we'll just leave that on and we're going to watch our test execute remotely. So our test is done playing, is done running. So we can then check our test our switch result. So under our switch result, we have this is the test switch that we just ran remotely. So if you look at the very first time we ran this our test suite, which was in sequence, we had our ex execution time was two minutes and 25 seconds. But now running it in parallel, we have it run in 54 seconds. So that is the essence of uh, running our test in sequential mode and uh, parallel mode. Now talking about scheduling, so in order for me to schedule my test, I can go ahead and use the same ellipsis option and click on scheduled runs. So this allows me to um, schedule my, my test speeds in such a way that I don't have to come and execute this test over and over again. So I'll just call this daily run. So and I'll give it a description. And uh, we have the option to run our test hourly. We have it to run uh, daily or weekly. So for the hourly, just like the name implies, the test runs every hour during the day. And for daily, we select the time of the day we need our test to run. So if I should click on six o'clock and uh, we have our time zone, so you can go ahead and impute, select your time zone wherever you are. And I would save. So once this is done saving, that is all you have to do for scheduling. So based on that very short settings, my test suite is expected to run daily at six o'clock in the morning. So how do we know that our test suite is being scheduled for runs? We have this icon here. So if I should over my cursor around it, we have the text that says scheduled set. So we now have this. And for our results also, we can also click on switch results and uh, here to get more insights on our switch results, we'll click on the particular, the last run of the suite. And these are the two test cases we have there. And um, this is the time it took to run this particular suite, which is uh, 54 seconds. And um, we have the entirety of it, which is 100% passed and we have none failing. If you also want to view the test cases individually based on their status, we have passed and we have failed. But at this moment, we do not have any failing test. And for reporting, we click on report on our nav bar. So this gives you an insight in for your runs in web and um, APIs. So because we haven't run any test on APIs, we would just stick to what we have on web. The 
the test run. So we now have nine of 11 test pass, which is 82% of our test runs. And um, this is the average run duration that we have for all our runs, all our test runs. So if you also want to view this based on the duration, you can go ahead and um, include the time frame from your calendar from when to when you need to view this insight. And finally, you can also use the export. So exports allows you to uh, download the reports in a PDF format. Thank you for watching.